would do in the past is I would try and lose weight and I'd fail, lose weight, fail, lose weight, fail. And like mentally, it was tough to just want to get up and try it again. This time, I want to start to build good habits. Part of that is lifting consistently, trying to stay active active and do something with my body every single day. So no matter how busy I get, for the next eight weeks, I will be living. So how do you feel about your body? The amount of times I've told myself like, today, today is the day I'm gonna started today and then every day past today I'm gonna be on point it is like probably pushing 1,000 um, I'm doing another today so as I was gaining weight I started to feel like ashamed I was letting the people that are watching me down and it got to the point where like people started to notice and like each top comment was how I was letting myself go and it's like no matter how good the video was, all the comments were about how I just keep gaining weight. And you would think like I wasn't trying to stop, but I was trying to do everything in my power to stop. I just couldn't. So what are you gonna do to change it? Take, uh, I'm gonna take Money Man Dan's parking spot. <laughs> He's about to revoke my contract. Is that for today? Are we doing sets? I want to do a one rep max of uh, these lifts here. We can do that That's too. Like warm Are we gonna set. build up to that? Yeah, yeah. A week or two. We're doing a two month transformation. Uh -huh. uh, so I want like a you know, benchmark to start. Thank you. Uh -huh. The one month results and then two month results and see how much progress we can make if we try really hard for two months. You can't do it all at once. I'm trying to just set some small goals and small wins I can get on a day-to-day -day basis. So I set a goal for six months. I was gonna drop from 244 to under 200 pounds. If I lose, I'm giving away $100,000 to chat. And I didn't realize how stressful of a goal I had set for myself, but man, it was fucking stressful. In the final week, I was at 212, and uh, I was going for a pretty major cut. And on top of that, we just got the A&P crib, so I was kind of low on funds. So the pressure was on. Before we start, we need like a couple ground rules. I'm gonna keep asking you how you feel. We're gonna right. scale one to 10. If we get to eight, nine, we might take a little break. If we get to 10, that means we're gonna stop. 10 as in like maximum? Yes. Oh, yes, okay. 10 is max pain, okay. yeah. Any point, I can cut it. Okay. And if I cut it, we're done. It's, there's no, oh, I think I can, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you start to get dizzy, feel like you're gonna throw up, pass out, mm -hmm. you have to let me know. No. But you have to let me know. I'll let you know. <laughs> And it's gonna take me a couple days to lose the three pounds of fat, even if even on like low calories. So I'm gonna take the effort I have put in today. I'm gonna transition this into a strict five day carnivore. And when I mean like not a gram of sugar, not a gram of carbs, like the strictest carnivore diet of all time. So uh, uh I, were you I, happy that you got to 200 pounds? I mean, that, that's an accomplishment, right? That was stressful. I cut from 212 to under 200 on the final day. It felt good, actually. It, was, it felt like a milestone. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a special moment, because I did it on a stream, too. But then I felt like I just got complacent. Like, I didn't have that drive 
kind of got stuck back in old patterns and I kind of took my success and it made me take it easy as if like it's not worth applying more pressure and I can start to see me picking up those bad habits again. So that's what led me to hiring TJ. He's my personal trainer. He's gonna be living with me for two months. And um, and so uh, first thing we did was head out to the gym to try and hit some personal records. I've never done pull-ups before, man. Never done pull-ups. Never in my life. I'm supposed to get up there? Yeah. I should jump first. No. Oh, you stand on there. That's crazy. Okay. Same thing applies. Yeah, same thing. Brace your core, squeeze your glutes. This you, one, can, this you can come a little closer, yeah. This feels a little harder, no? Oh, it's nice. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna save myself the embarrassment. My PRs were bad. Yeah, I'm gonna save myself the embarrassment. I'm gonna just tell you my personal record. Okay. Okay, so to start me off, I was able to get two complete chin-ups, zero pull-ups, so. And then after that, I was able to get a vertical of up to 20 inches. Why are you laughing? All right, now on the squat, I was able to get like 225, which is not bad. So for my 40, I was able to get like 5.45. That's like a, that's like a, a medium speed lineman, if you ask somebody. And I was able to run my one kilometer in four minutes and 58 seconds. So you've gotten to 200 before, and obviously you can do that, but how do you plan to get back there now? Week one is gonna be the hardest. There's a lot of habits I have to break, but at least I've done them before. Week two, my body's broken down, but if I want to get to that final week, I just have to keep going. Week four, I feel stronger, like I have more energy throughout the day, and it just makes me want to keep going harder. Week six, I've made this a part of my average day, and it feels normal to be working out every single day, part of my schedule. You feel stronger? Stronger? Uh, who knows, man? I beat David's ass yesterday on stream three times. I felt good, but to be fair, he's just weak. <sighs> you feel like you're the strongest out of the out of AMP right now? Soon, maybe. Forgot about Phantom. Hmm. How do you feel about his uh his journey from his week progress? To... Shit, phenomenal. Yeah. Huge improvement. Mostly with his form too, but this guy's a solid body. If he keeps it up, who knows what he can do? What did you? I don't know how he does it. Like, oh. Training at times, man. Like he he just puts in work. So I give him a lot of credit for like just showing up. And a lot of people, when it comes to training too, it's just like getting into the gym. That's like the hardest part too. But he shows up like whatever is going on like throughout the day, you know. He still sh shows up, man. That's all that matters. <laughs> TJ, thank you, man. Always. I'll see you. Yes, we'll that'll be good. <laughs> Next time you see me, I look completely different. Hope so. Like, put not, on. not in the back. <laughs> <way. laughs> <laughs> As I get back to 3:30. I made it my goal to never, well, never get back to where I was. And I know the memes were funny uh, to y'all. They're funny now, I guess. But back then, it was my mic hasn't been on this whole time. To show That's myself. tough. Because it's like it's the last, and last time since last time you see me. another 10 pounds and each time you think like this is it this is the worst it gets and it just keeps getting worse hey uh, it's a big day today I'm going for PRs man been working out two months straight it's time to see just how much gains I've made I'm a little nervous for today I don't have a spotter but that just means that I have to lift the weight no matter what so there's no excuses there's no safety net and I'm gonna start a new program with Phantom actually we're doing the same push pull legs program as soon as I'm done this right here so this is like the benchmark for how much I improved since the start and then this is also the benchmark for the beginning of my next program so at the beginning of this video and eight weeks ago I asked you how do you feel about your body after going through everything that you went through over these past eight weeks, how do you feel about your body? Unfinished. I feel unfinished. <laughs> Yo, what's good, gang? Again. Woo! You know, I'm chilling just watching the Asian big right to and stuff like that. Uh, uh. Did he get 195 agents? <laughs>
To be fair, out of my main list, it's probably the one I worked out the okay. least in the past two months. Uh, we did a bet, lot of bet, variations bet, bet, bet. of like chess related things. Like, yeah, but we didn't do too much for like, just flat That's crazy. Here's a 195. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Bro, how the fuck did I just do that? Wait, 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 I got it wrong. 185, 195, 205. 205? That was 205. Okay. That was 205. I just did 205. Okay. I counted shit wrong. I was, man, I was like, damn, nigga, I go backwards? That was 205. All right, we got deadlifts up next. <laughs> All right, this is 345. Would be a huge PR, not even like a little PR, a fucking huge PR. I don't know if I can do this. this no, you got it, you got it, bro, you got it. Lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Be able to do more, but I don't want to tweak my back and it's feeling a little funny. Form isn't the greatest, but I'm working on it. Okay, last time I did two chin ups. I'm a little nervous about how this one's gonna go. Hey, let me see if I can go for six. I think I can do six. Six. One, two, three. Okay. Ah, I can't, 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 can't. No. Ah, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Damn, I was about to snap my fucking shoulder. What? Yeah, let me focus on the losing weight part. I feel like that's probably the best thing I can do for my chin up. Ah, last but not least. I'm actually most excited for this one, uh, mainly because I don't know why, when I used to lift in university, like the squat was the thing that just came easiest to me, like in terms of improving. Uh, mm -hmm. So I don't know if that still is the case or whatever, but I don't even know what the fuck my last PR was. I'm just gonna go for as much as I fucking can. But I don't know who the fuck I think I am, but I'm going for 300 pounds on the squat. Oh shit. You got it, bro. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Lock in, lock in. Lock in, lock in, bro. Lock in. I'm gonna take an extra long break because if I actually hit this, this would be one of the most proudest moments of my life. And so I don't want to fail now. Okay, you got it. I mean, I, when I go into the lift, I'm gonna go in like two, three more minutes potentially. <clears throat> oh my God. Fuck. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm alone right now. Just me, this whole facility. Still, somehow I'm nervous. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done this one last, now I think about it. Ah! That's what I'm talking about! That's how you used to go! The go! <laughs> hey, oh my god. I feel good, man. All of that was a success. Like, I look fucking oh i feel great i feel great because i fucking did what i thought i was gonna do bro i feel fucking incredible i i, I was way more pessimistic going into it <laughs> than i probably should have been that was a lesson on believing in yourself now it's about being consistent this new arc let's see if i can drop 20 pounds in the next two months let's lock in <laughs> This month, I'm on pace, man. I'm doing good. It's got nice. Fine pressure. <laughs> nice video, nice little documentary. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, thank you. Oh.